Hello, good evening everyone. I am Fatma Malik and today I'm your host for the webinar session that I'm conducting for this Stipendium Hungarian Scholarship Program. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the delay because the webinar was supposed to be conducted yesterday, 24th of December, but because of the jet lag, I couldn't be here. But today I'm here, so in case you have any questions or you would like to know about the scholarship provided by the Hungarian government, you can tell me. And I hope that you can hear me well. If you cannot hear me, you can tell me so I can do something about it as well. And I would like to wish you all a very happy Christmas and um, a beautiful upcoming Happy New Year as well. With that being said, I'd like to move forward to the point of discussion. Firstly, I would like to introduce myself. Um, I'm Fatma Malik and I'm from Pakistan. And um, currently I'm also a scholarship holder by the Stipendium Hungarian program that's um, in collaboration with the HEC, the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan. And currently I'm studying in the University of Pesh and also I am an international student ambassador there. So if you have any particular interests in the University of Pesh or if it's in your preference list, um, uh, you can send me an email on my official email address. That's Fatima, F-A-T-I-M-A, -A, uh, dot Majid, M-A-J-I-D, at the rate of P-T-E dot H-U. So if you have any questions, you can email it to me and I will get back to you as soon as I can with an appropriate reply so I can help and aid you with any problems that you have. Okay? So um, I would like to tell you what this scholarship is all about, what the advantages for applying to this uh, scholarship program and why you should apply for it. And also I would like to tell you that there's a problem um, because you have very, very limited time right now. Um, you have, I think, six days because the deadline for this scholarship is 31st of December from the HEC and um, from the um, TPF Tempest Public Foundation, it's 15th of January. So if you're here and you want to apply and you're interested, I recommend you do it as fast as you can. Okay. We have a question. Are you a permanent on the FB? I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. And please send me relevant questions regarding um, uh, this scholarship or if you have any relevant questions, please, not just questions. Okay. So if you want to apply for the scholarship, the procedure goes as follows. There are two um, portals. The one is the ATC portal, and the second one is TPF portal. That stands for Tempest Public Foundation. So, uh, on the ATC e portal, you go there and you there's an, and you sign in. Okay, you have to put your CNIC number and you have to generate a password. So basically, you have to register. Okay. So when you're done registering, you will find um, a place called a, you know, it's like scholarship and grants. So in that you have research and linkage. I think that's the heading. You click it and you will find um, there's a bar and then you find what kind of scholarships ATC is offering. Then you go and select Stipendium Hungaricum and it will uh, show you a lot of subjects and um, what subjects are offered by ATC, how can you apply, and everything, okay? It's very detailed, you will understand everything, and thankfully to the ATC, they've posted on their website a very detailed image that shows what you basically need and um, how you should apply. But in case you don't understand, I'm here, and I will explain it to you step by step as well. Okay, so um, what else? So you go there and you apply. And the thing is that you need to upload a lot of documents. So do not think that it's a very small process because it's not a small process. It's a very long process. And um, you need to have your degrees attested as well. Like, for example, if you have a bachelor's degree or you have a master's degree or you have a, a high school degree, they have to be tested by ATC if it's a bachelor's or a master's, and it has to be tested by the IBCC if it's a high school degree, because attestation is very important when you're applying internationally anywhere, okay? And a small piece of advice, even if you're not applying, I still recommend you get your degrees attested, because they should be attested and be with you. You know, sometimes in emergency cases, it takes a lot of time, and you're just there stuck, and you miss a very great opportunity like that. Okay, um... 
is there any uh, social science subject they're offering for M4? Um, Hikmat Khan Marwat. Um, okay, uh, are you talking about the entire scholarship program or you're talking about the university I'm studying in? Because if you're talking about the entire portal, I recommend that you go to the uh, website and look for the subjects they're offering because it's very hard for me to remember each and every subject they're offering. And one more thing that's very important, and many people have emailed me about this before as well. Um, the situation is that there are a few subjects that are available on the Tempest Public Foundation, but you will not find them on the ATC um, website. So I recommend that you apply in the subjects that are available on HEC as well as TPF, okay? This is just so you're on the safe side because our sending partner is HEC, Higher Education Commission. So the subject must be offered by them for you to have the scholarship in the particular subject. But if you want to apply for, like example, a self-paying candidate, then you can choose any subject from the any course from TPF. But if you want the scholarship, I recommend you choose a subject that's offered by both TPF and ACC. It's just to be on the safe side so you don't put any errors because already there are lots of people applying from the entire country and the merit is very high. So you should be always on the safe side. Okay. A uh, very good portal for prospective students. Thank you very much. Hi, great blogger. Hi, Omar. Uh, business administration related, Annie just joined. Um, again, Khush uh, Ahmed Deen, I would like you to go and visit um, the website for ACC and TPF as well and see if your subjects are offered. But I'm very sure business is, business, the business administration is offered by many universities in, uh, in Hungary. So it must be there. And Phil Agriculture, please go look at the website. Um, Altaf Darani, from where I can apply, is there any link which can uh, yes. Um, okay, so what I will do is, as soon as this webinar ends, I will post in the comment section uh, all the links. For so example, if there's a link for the ATC or if there's a link for TPF, also I will post my email as well. So if you have any particular questions regarding the program, the process, or the University of Page in specific, you can send the email to me, okay? And I will get back to you with the, with the appropriate reply in the meantime. And I will post the link so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Sakib Chaudhary scholarship about engineering fields. Yes, Sakib, there are a lot of scholarships regarding uh, engineering fields. And um, they offer scholarships from, I think, the University of Debrecen does, University of Page does. Uh, there are a lot of universities in Budapest as well. They offer scholarship for engineering fields. And um, yes, it's available. You have to go check on the website and just apply. Okay, are you on scholarship and which country? Yes, Omar Khitab, I am on scholarship. I am from Pakistan and I am currently in a page. That's a city in Hungary and I am um, studying, I'm doing my bachelor's from University of Page as well. That's the name of the university I'm currently in. Okay, uh, we have, um, I'm sorry, I don't understand your first name, but it's Asif. Are engineering students eligible to choose business program? Um, Asif, I think it's possible, but um, for, okay, so for the business program, the thing is they just require a very good uh, score in your previous degree. So there's no particular, um, how do I say, criteria to apply in a business program. So I think you're lucky. So I think you can apply and it won't be a big problem. And um, what I recommend is that you go on the website and you, and the university that you want to apply to, you go there. And you look for the coordinator of your course and you send her a personal email because uh, all the universities in, in Hungary, they're very interactive, okay? They will love to reply you and help you with the procedures. So if you have a university in your mind that you want to apply to the business program, you go there and you send her an email or him an email and they will guide you through the process and they will tell you the requirements as well, okay? From Saudia, we have, do they require IELTS or any document from department where I studied? Okay, Saudia, the thing is, it depends on what course are you applying to. For example, uh, I applied to my bachelor's program and I was done with my high school, but because I had an IELTS before, which was actually expired, but I still just put it in the application and I had my O-levels as well. So I didn't actually need any IELTS. And um, so I think you can have an English proficiency certificate from the last institute that you were studying in. 
and um, you can just uh, give that to them and you can upload it. And in case if it's not enough, they will ask you to upload an IELTS and you can take a date and take a test as well. Or if you want to be on the safe side, you can email it to them and ask them if IELTS is necessary for the course that you're interested in as well. So they will, they will answer you. Okay, uh, please send the link off. Uh, yes, Sandhus, I will. Uh, and in case if you want to look for the link right now, when you're looking at the webinar, you can just go and type um, Tempest Public Foundation and you will find it. Um, and also the other one is HUCE portal in case, you know. Uh, Farouk or Zay, we have, I have applied for MS in geology. Okay, uh, if, okay, you have applied, uh, that's good, but What's the question in this, Farouk? I don't understand. Um, Zahid Ali, any university for MS marketing? Um, please go on the website and check which universities are offering your course and just apply and go through the procedure. It's not very hard. Jahan Zeb, hi. Uh, Mohammed American engineering background student go for management programs. Okay, again, it's a question similar to the one person asked before you. Um, I'm not very sure because... Um, it depends. You want to do a master's probably in management programs and you've done an, an engineering bachelor's or you've done an engineering high school and you want to go for management program in your, in your bachelor's. So please be specific so I can help you. Um, Nasser Irfan, person with disability, how a real scholarship please help. Um, I'm very sorry. This is a very deliberate topic and um, you have to email the HEC so they can help you with it. Um, or you can just call them. So the spokesperson at the HEC, they will help you. Or you can, if you, if you have a university in your mind, you can just email it to them, uh, the condition, the situation, and they will definitely get back to you, I'm very sure, because they're very helping. Um, we have a question from Anand. Any exchange program for Hungary? I'm sorry, what do you mean by exchange program? Um, do you mean you're studying here and you want to go there for like a semester? Um, we do have Erasmus programs from many countries. I'm not sure if it's from between Pakistan and Hungary, but I can check. Alflav um, Durani, is there any scholarship available for MS in software engineering? Please, Alflav, go on the website and check. I'm sure they will be available for software engineering. Um, Sakib, where is application link? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, which application link? Um, so for the HEC, you have to go on the scholarship grant section. Then you go on the, um, there's a research link, something like that in, in that column. You click it and you will find all the scholarships that are provided by the HEC. And then you have to choose Stipendium Hungaricum. And when the webinar ends, I will post all the links down below. So don't worry about it, okay? Ahmed Ali, any university scholarship for MSc Economics? Please, Ahmed, go on the website and check. I'm sure they will have some for economics. You have to check which university is providing it and if ATC is providing it or not. That's the main concern. What about, uh, sorry, what about special in this? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Mir Ali Hassan, great, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Sayed Mashud Hassan is saying, I just passed my exam. I will get a degree in March. So is it possible to apply this? I'm very sorry, Sayed, but uh, as far as I know, I just read the um, requirements by the HEC. They said that if you are a student, that you, you don't have your degree, you cannot apply. So there are two things. If you have a waiting degree and if you already had an HEC scholarship before, these two conditions, you cannot apply. Okay, we have a question. Omar Khitab, same question. Okay, I think I've answered it. Asadi Imran, I have been on exchange program before in US. Will that have positive impact on the scholarship for selection? Um, Sadia, I think um, if you've been on exchange program in the US, it should reflect on the kind of motivation letter you write and what kind of sp spoken verbal skills you have. Because um, I understand that it really matters uh, on the HEC test that they conduct, but it also depends on how you speak and um, what kind of motivation letter do you, do you write, because that's the criteria for their selection. So please try to put that uh, that uh, experience that you had in this, um, in this, okay? Um, Najibullah is saying, please tell me about ILM. I'm from Pakistan. I'm sorry, is this LLM? Or I don't understand your question. Can you please repeat or write in a better way? Dawood Rafur is saying, what is your major subject? I'm doing psychology bachelor's from Page. 
Um, Nabra Iqbal, uh, how difficult is the test? Okay. Um, basically, uh, I would just share my experience with you when I had it last year. I went through all the high school uh, course that I had, and to be honest, it was not very hard because I was expecting something harder. But the thing is, the test is not hard, but the merit is higher because there are a lot of students applying for the same field from different uh, countries, uh, from different uh, provinces. And there's a quota system as well, like from Punjab, from Sindh, from Balochistan, from NWFP. So um, you need to uh, score very high, very good. So I recommend that you start preparing for it now because I've heard that this time ATC is conducting a test in March instead of April. You still have a lot of time and I, I'm sure you can make it. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, will you please post links to? Yes, yes, Adia, I will post the links. That's what I have from my department. Okay, MS Geology, please go check the website. Um, Phil Physics reply, please go check on the website for the courses and the relevant universities and if ATC is providing it or not. Uh, degree is mandatory or the transcript will do work because I get my degree at the start of Feb. Um, also, I think this is also a 50-50 um, situation. I recommend that you call ATC and reconfirm because I don't want to tell you something and I don't want you to miss your chance for applying for the scholarship. So I recommend that you um, call them and recheck because as far as I know, if you don't have your degree, you cannot apply. And uh, Najmul Hassan criteria, the criteria for scholarship. Um, it depends what course are you applying for, for bachelor's, for master's or for PhD. So what do you want to apply for? You can ask me and I can tell you. Hi, good evening. Good evening to you too. Any scholarship for LLM? How can got it? Um, please go on the website and check if they are offering any scholarship for LLM, if that's what you're asking me, because yes, it's available in University of Page and um, I think a few universities in Budapest as well, but I don't think it's part of scholarship from ATC. I'm very sorry because last year I also checked, but it wasn't there. I'm not sure about this year. You are working in which country? I'm not working. I'm studying in, in Hungary, in Page. Um, Send to me links, please, and fill physics. Um, I will post all the links after the webinar ends down below so you can go and check your relevant courses from the website, don't worry. Um, I have any information about GCC country. I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. Please try to rephrase it. Link is here if anyone needs. Um, yes, please, Omar Khatab, he has posted the link. You can go and check. Any university scholarship for D-Pharmacy? Um, I think uh, even the university page is uh, giving, um, uh, um, yeah, we have pharmacy, but I'm not sure it's part of scholarship, actually. I'm very sorry. Um, is there a PhD scholarship for particular management sciences? I do know that there are PhD scholarships, but I cannot say if it's for management sciences because there are lots of subjects and, and uh, it's very hard for me to keep a track of them. So you have to go and check subjects on your own, okay? Madam, I have masters in English, but why foreign uni official tell me that you're not eligible for MS? Akramullah Khan, I'm very sorry, I don't know. Uh, which, which university did you apply to and what reason did they give you for rejection? Because it doesn't usually happen like this. They must give you a reason. Can you review my motivation letter, please? Asad Zarar. Um, you can send me your motivation letter on my email that I just mentioned in the start and I also post it after the webinar and I will try my best to read it for you and tell you if it's okay or not because yes, motivation letter is a very big part. Yes, LLM, it means law. I know it's, yes, I understand what your question now and I already answered it. Um, we have a question from Dawood um, Rafur. I'm doing my master and full degrees in virology from China, but want to get my doctoral degree from Hungary. Please tell me about the amount of the scholarship you're talking about, PhD. Okay, so Dawood, the thing is, the scholarship, it covers your entire tuition course, so you have to pay nothing. And um, it gives you a monthly stipend. For uh, PhD students, it's around 1, like 40,000 forints. It's about, um, okay, it's about 450 euros around, yeah? For every month, you have this amount of money. It's very easy to spend your entire month in this amount of money. It's very good. And also, your accommodation money is covered. And you have a medical insurance about 200 euros a month. So your tuition cost, your monthly expenditure, your, your, your dorm fee, or if you want to live in an apartment, that's also covered. 
and um, you're um, yes you're traveling as well one time that you go from your country to the to Hungary and once when you come back it's also covered by ATC and so yeah it's it's very good it's everything is almost covered uh, okay after LLB my LLM is completed I want LLM any scholarship no Najibul I'm very sorry I don't think um, they provide uh, law as a scholarship program engineer Abzal of one is there any scholarship any engineering yes there are many please go check on the website um okay the thing is uh, you need to go and do a bit of your homework because um go on the websites and check what universities are providing what courses and then you can ask me relevant questions about the topic or about the course that you're interested in because for now, you're just asking me a question like, is it available? Because you, you have to go and check. You have to go and look for yourself so then I can help you more with it. Saad Maimon, hello, hello. Um, is there any scholarship I can answer? Um, Mirza Omer, ma'am, I completed my intermediate 12 and now I want to do an engineering in mechatronics. Please help me. Okay, uh, Mirza Omer. Uh, you can, um, after the webinar, I will post the links down below as well. You can go and check if Megatronics is available, which I'm sh um, not sure is. Um, I don't think so it's available, but I think automobile something is available as part of scholarship program. So you can go and check if you find anything relevant to Megatronics. You can apply on this as well because um, it will be a good experience for you. Mirza Hamza, any scholarship in the field of information technology? Um, you mean IT? Uh, yes, um, there are scholarship programs for CS, as far as I know, computer sciences. If there's a difference between CS and IT, I don't know, but I'm sure about CS. I'm not sure about IT, but you can go and check. Yes, I will provide the link, Sahid. Um, Mustafa is asking, what will be selection criteria for masters in civil engineering? Please, the selection criteria is majorly based on um your test for the HCC, of course because you need to be on the merit and i recommend um if you're applying there there's a score it's from 100 so please try to score at least a 75 plus or 70 plus or 80 plus if you can so that's for sure and secondly the criteria is your motivation letter and there's a statement of purpose as well i'm not sure if they have it now i think they do so you need to write a very good motivation letter statement of purpose and um, yeah, your test, your ATC test. And in case you do not have a English NC test or something, then they will conduct a interview with you through Skype. So you need to be very good in your verbal skills as well. You need to have very good English because your entire course will be in English. So, okay. Um, how I prepare myself for tests, I'm waiting for a degree get in May. Uh, it means I'm eligible next year. Yes, Sayed Masood, you are eligible next year, but unfortunately not this year. You can prepare yourself. Um, I would tell you, but you did not tell me for what uh, course, like a bachelor's or a master's, because for a bachelor's you have to prepare from the high school course and from the master's you have to apply. You have to study uh, more of generally for general knowledge, problem solving skills, IQ skills. So it depends what are you applying for. Mm. Zahid Gil is saying, I want to go for MPhil in English literature. Okay. I go in the links and look for the course if they're provided by TPF and HEC. Criteria and this education were eligible. Criteria is that you should have good grades, you should clear the HEC test, and you should be 18 plus. Um, is there any scholarship for finance students? Masters and IELTS is must. Mm, yes, I think so. There, there should be for final students, but I don't. I, I'm not sure. I don't know because there are a lot of subjects provided by the individual. So you should, you can go on the website and check. And you know, Nasser IELTS. It's it depends. It depends on the university you're applying to. For like for example, in University Page in my university, they also accept a English proficiency certificate. And even if you don't have that, they will conduct a Skype interview with you to check your verbal skills. So um, it depends on the university and their particular requirements. So you just have to go and um, email your course coordinator and check, okay? Send me links. Yes, I will post them after the webinar. Uh, any scholarship in the field of clinical psychology? Um, 
I'm not sure because now the scholarships are only available till um, I think the bachelor's level. I, I'm not sure if it's for the for the master's level or the specialization, but you can go on the website and check. We have a question from Mohammed Anis. I'm applying for PhD. Is acceptance letter from university of professor is necessary? If so, can you give me guidance about agriculture universities? Um, Mohammed Anis, as far as I know, yes, you need an acceptance letter from the university or the professor. At least that's the uh, requirements mentioned by the ATC as well in the picture that they posted. And um, about the agricultural universities, I don't know. But um, the thing is, if any university in Hungary is providing a certain course, they're very well equipped to guide you and teach you and impart knowledge to you in a very good way. So you can go and check all the universities and then choose what you like. You can read the reviews as well, or you can contact your friends there as well. Because personally, I have experience from University of Debrecen and University of Page, but I, am, I don't have an interaction with anyone from agriculture side. But as I said, all the courses provided are excellent. So any university you like in Hungary, it's, it's good. It's good. So you won't have a problem in that. Don't worry about it. Mirza Umer is saying, or mechanical engineering, electronics engineering. Um, I I don't know. I'm sorry. You have to go and check. I remember mechanical or electronic or automobile is there. Mechanical or mechatronic, I'm not sure. Uh, are you doing bachelor or are you, uh, are you from FSC background? Yes, I did my O-levels. Then I did my FSC. Then I went for my bachelor's in page. Yes, I'm a bachelor's student. Mohammed Anasman, please let me know about scholarship in Canada if you know about. I'm sorry, Mohammed Anas, I have no idea about scholarship in Canada. Akram Khan, Madam, they say that your MA degree is not equal to BS degree. That's why they rejected me. Okay, Akram, the thing is sometimes it happens that degrees from certain universities in Pakistan, they're not um, accepted internationally because they're not equivalent or the course that you studied is not enough so unfortunately that's the reason they rejected you and i cannot do anything about it um i'm sorry um is there any psc scholarship for agriculture please go on the website and check i am sure there will be um okay so political science yes i think may you have to go and check on the website I'm fresh graduated electrical engineer with 3.32 CGPA, but no acceptance letter. How much chance for me, ma'am? Okay. Um, you have a good GPA. That's not a problem. But no acceptance letter. What do you mean by no acceptance letter? You mean you have no acceptance letter from your university or any foreign university? Please, can you rephrase the question? What are the major parts of procedure? Okay, the major parts of procedure, I, I already mentioned them bef before, but I'll say them again. Um, uh, you have to go on the ATCE portal, you have to go on TPF portal, you have to uh, apply and fill um, out both the applications by scanning all your attested documents, you have to upload your, uh, your passport, your domicile, your identity card, your a birth certificate and so many things and you have to write a motivation letter as well and other things and you have to submit and please remember for HEC the deadline is 31st of December and for TPF the Tempest Public Foundation it's 15th of January do not miss this because if you do not submit the forms within the uh, given timeline you will not be able to apply or the gain benefits for the scholarship okay that's are the major procedures is there any summer exchange program which is fully funded? Um, I don't know, I said maybe there are, but I'm not dealing with that, uh, you know, that subject right now. Okay, thanks, no problem, ma'am. Let me know about scholarship in Canada. And sorry, Anas, I have no idea about scholarship in Canada. Uh, you can refer to someone who's dealing with it because I'm not. Vahab um, Khan, BS study visa available. Please write proper questions. What, what question is this? Uh, Mohammed Ans, ma'am, let me know about scholarship. I don't know about scholarship in Canada, Ans, please. Najibullah, any scholarship for MBBS? No, Najib, there are no scholarship for MBBS anywhere in the world. Sayed Mashoud Hassan, what are the t what are the tests about? As I mentioned before, if you're applying for bachelor's, it's going to be from your high school. If you're applying for master's, it will be about general knowledge, your IQ test, and things like this. 
um, I think GAT, G-A-T, uh, or you can even email ATC and ask them what kind of tests are they preparing this time so you can prepare properly. And for, for PhD, I don't know, maybe you just have to submit your research proposal or something. Um, Muhammad Hassan, what really matters for getting accepted? What matters is your uh, previous studies, what kind of grades you had before, and your test that will be conducted by ATC, your motivation letter, and maybe the Skype interview by the relevant university. What type of test it is? It's a multiple choice question test. It's for 100 score. And if you want to be selected, I recommend you score an 80 plus. Muhammad Khita, will you be bounded to ATC after coming back or can you apply anywhere you want and do what you want to do? Okay, Omar, that's a very good question and it's been a concern for a lot of people before as well. But unfortunately, the thing is, if you uh, apply to this scholarship, you will have to sign a bond agreement at the end of it that says that as soon as you finish your studies, you have to come back and you have to serve in Pakistan for um, probably two years. And then you can go back to anywhere else in the world and you can continue your education. So now this clause is introduced because uh, ATC wants you to come back and serve your country because this opportunity is provided by ATC in collaboration with Hungary. So they, they want you to come back and do something good for your country. So yes, but you will be bounded. Uh, what I have to write in statement of purpose, Sania Hayat, okay, it's a good question. The thing is there's a very, very small difference between motivation letter and statement of purpose. The motivation letter basically shows more of theory that why do you want to apply, what parts of your personality is suitable for the course that you chose, and uh, how will it enhance your abilities, how will you contribute further to the society, to the environment, and what motivated you that you chose the course, okay? But statement of purpose, it shows something more practical. What part of your life, the practical parts of your life, for example, any internship, any volunteer program, any part of your education, that drives you to, to, to choose this. So it's more practical and motivation letter is more theoretical. That's the best way I can explain it. Uh, can I change my program from MS Biotechnology to MS Zoology? Mohamed um, Tafik. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, uh, switch program from this to this, but in what? Have you applied already and now you want to switch? Please be clear. Mohammed Hassan's statement of purpose is same for motivation letter. No, there's a like there's a small difference between them. I would like you to go and Google some samples and read them, and you will understand the small difference that they have. So then, when you write, you know how to write it. Okay. What are the CGPA requirements if I will apply for master's? Is there any influence of metric and FSC percentages? No, uh, Sayed Masood. If you're applying for a master's program, your I don't think so your high school or your metric will matter because your bachelor's will matter and you should have a good GPA. Uh, maybe three plus, I think. Uh, Asad Zafar, thank you so much. It's really helpful. You're welcome. Anytime. Um, okay. Shafes, the PSD in biotechnology or molecular genetics. Um, Shafes, I would like you to go and check on the website, please, to see if the, your course that you're interested is available or not. And I will drop the links down below as soon as this um, session ends, okay? Uh, have you ever saying, I have, I have done MPhil, so what's the procedure to apply for PSD in Canada? Habib, I'm sorry, but I'm not dealing with Canada, I'm dealing with Hungary in Europe, okay? Jahanzeb Nassar, scholarship for doctors for post-graduation training. If any country offers, please share information. Jahanzeb Nassar, I'm sorry, um, I don't think so. There's um, scholarship for, no, I don't know. It's not available in Hungary, but you might check UK if they provide, but I'm, I'm sorry, I have no information about this. Sorry, post-graduation training. Mm. Yes, I understood your question, but I don't, I don't have any information about this, uh, John Zeb, I'm sorry. Um, Farhan, Shireen, IELTS is mandatory for this or not? It depends on what university you chose and what uh, course you chose. So, and you can also go on the TPF website and check for individual requirements of the course. Like, for example, I, it's, I mentioned earlier for university page, you can apply with the English proficiency certificate from your university or college as well. And they will take an um, you know, Skype interview to clear that you speak well enough to be part of the course or not. Uh, what Dud Khan is saying, I want to know about how to get acceptance letter. Should you help me in this regard? Um, 
do you want to apply through scholarship or do you want to apply as a fee-paying candidate? Uh, Bashir Ahmed, how much possibility to take this scholarship? You know, Bashir, I'll tell you something. Life is all about chances, but the people who win, they are always willing to take chances. So I recommend you take this chance. You know, you never know. What's the loss? You should apply. Dawood Ghafoor, are you a master student or PhD? No, I'm a bachelor student, Dawood. Um, Abdul Rahman Bazai, I have not uploaded motivation letter. It is so what should I do? Abdul Rahman, then you have to upload motivation letter on your website. That's it. Rana Fiaz, love you, Pakistan. Um, okay. Mersin Mahmood, nice accent. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. A very comprehensive guideline. Thank you very much. Mohammed Hassan is saying, can you tell which documents to upload while filling form an ATC? Okay, Mohammed Hassan, I would elaborate it, but the thing is, if you go on the ATC side, they have mentioned several times what documents that you need to upload and what are the requirements. So, uh, they're, they're your degrees. They, they have to be attested degrees. And, um, yeah, they have to be your degrees, your birth certificate, your um, CNIC, your... Um, Okay, we well, birth certificate, your domicile, yes, domicile is also very important and many of you have problems with it because you don't have it with you right now. And um, yeah, that's it, I think. That's, that's the, and your motivation letter as well. You have to uh, scan and upload all these documents. Mm, but please go again and check what, what documents they're asking because I'm just telling you a general idea. Sherryar is saying, thanks for such an instructive session. You're doing a magnificent job. Thank you very much. Um, okay, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Nadirfa, what about library science? Mm, okay, please go on the website and check if it's provided or not. Um, Hamid Khan, MS Botany, your full scholarship is available. Um, I think so, yes, it is, because many, many scholarships related to biology are available, so I believe MS Botany and Phil, it might be there as well, but go on the website and check. Okay, uh, scholarship, ma'am. Mohamed Wadud, I don't understand what question is this scholarship, ma'am, but if you have any other question, you can send it to me and I will reply it to you. And we had a lot of questions and I will explain a bit more about this now and uh, on my own. And also, I will mention once more, if you have any questions, um, you can either drop a comment down the webinar or you can email them to me uh, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. It's Fatima, F-A-T-I-M-A dot M-A-J-I-D at the rate of P-T-E dot H-U. And specifically, if you have questions about University of Page, since I'm an international student ambassador in Page, you can send me email about that as well and the, the, the courses they're providing or anything relevant to Page. I'm always there to help you. So you can send me your questions. Okay. Um, uh, so they're saying, it's really helpful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, our final hack, what about social sciences, please? I think in social sciences, IR and psychology is part of social sciences as well. And yes, there are many scholarships provided by many universities as well. I'm also on a scholarship for psychology program and I'm doing bachelor's in psychology as well. And I have many friends who are on scholarship and they're doing international relations. So yes, you have a good chance, you should apply. Um, it's really helpful, thank you so much, you're welcome. Uh, Norman Abdullah, is it compulsory to get placement letter before applying for again a scholarship for masters? Um, Norman, unfortunately, as far as I know, yes, you do need the placement letter because that are the requirements mentioned by the HEC. So um, even if it's okay without a letter to be on the safe side, I recommend you have one. Okay. Uh, for Han, Shirin is saying, can I apply for MS in civil engineering without IELTS? Please really need help regarding this Hungarian scholarship. Um, for her, the thing is that uh, it depends on the university you, you chose, as I mentioned before. Um, it depends. So if, for example, you have University of Dublin, they will might probably they will ask you for an IELTS or something. For Page, they can take a, a Skype interview from you and see what kind of language skills you have, or they can take an English proficiency test or uh, a certificate from your previous institute that you were studying in. So it all depends on what university you chose. Um, but I recommend what you do is 
uh, if you want to be on the safe side, you can upload an English proficiency certificate from your college or university that you're currently studying in. Meanwhile, you can apply for IELTS and you can upload the application form that you have applied for IELTS on the portal. Okay, and then you can give the test and when the results come, you can upload the test results um, in August because T TPF, Campus Public Foundation, it has uh, an option that if you have missing documents, you can upload them in August and you can just mention to them that this is something that I'm missing and I upload them later. So it's not a problem, you can upload them later, okay? Um, this is the best solution. Uh, Thorik Mosin, how many CGP require for me in biotechnology? Uh, Thorik Mosin, uh, I think three plus would be good. Um, yes, and then you have to score very good in your ATC test as well. For how to upgrade the format on TPF website for medical certificate required test reports for AIDS and hepatitis is necessary to test the results. Yes, it is necessary to attest the results for her. And if they are not satisfied with what kind of medical certificate you put, when you will go to the certain university, they will take a, um, a test again. They will take a, a medical checkup again um, at the university as well, the university hospital. But you do need to attest the results. Zirak, well, thanks for your webinar. You're welcome. My degree is Arabic language and literatures. Should I do MBA? Zirak, um, the thing is, I cannot uh, guide you what you should do, what you shouldn't. It all depends on your interests, what will you like, what's your passion, what you want to do for the rest of your life. So please choose your course accordingly. Um, Zaid bin Junaid, should we choose Germany or Hungary for master's program? Uh, Zaid, um, I don't know. It's um, I love Hungary as well, and I think Germany is also very good in... In, in, in education, but both of them are very good. It, it just depends on different factors other than education that you can search and you can see what suits you the best. Okay, so Norman Abdullah, what is the procedure to get placement letter and how long it take? Uh, Norman Abdullah, I'm very sorry, but I don't know about this. Uh, you can contact someone, some senior from your master's program who has done this before, because I, I just applied for a bachelor's program, not for a master's program. So, but I think it depends that you have to go to university to a professor or something. I'm not sure, so I cannot comment. Please um, contact the, some, someone senior, because there are groups on Facebook, Stipendium Hungaricum groups with a lot of Pakistanis. You can post there and they will definitely help you. Hamid Hashim, could you please tell me about LLM scholarship? Uh, Hamid, I'm sorry, but I don't think LLM is provided as a scholarship course. But if you want to go as a fee-paying candidate, yes, LLM is provided by many universities in Hungary. Uh, Fahad Akbar, is it compulsory to do IELTS for BS in nursing? Mm, Fahad, go on the TPF website and open BS nursing and go on the requirements and check if it's necessary or not. And if still it confuses you, you can find the course coordinator for BS Nursing and you can email her and you can ask her, do, do you need it? Like, is it compulsory or not? Yusuf, we have, I'm from Morocco. Hello from Pakistan. I'll get my bachelor in professional communication next June. Okay. I want to pursue master's in international relations. Any recommendation of scholarships of master's? Um, okay, Yusuf, um, the thing is that... Um, for international relations, we, like, for example, University of Pate is a very good faculty and we have a very good international relations because students from all over the world come there, so it's very diverse. The, um, the professors have very good uh, teaching skills. They're very good English. They're very interactive. So um, you can apply to Pate or you can apply to other universities in Hungary as well. It's not a problem. Um, a recommendation of scholarship for masters. I don't really understand what your question is right here, but I tried my best to answer you as much as I understood. Say that Igor Rahman, what will be the test pattern for medical students apply for BSIR? Okay, so um, since your um, your high school is pre medical as I see it, yes. So your test will be from biology, physics, chemistry, and English. It will not be very hard, hopefully, but it will be multiple choice questions, 30 multiple questions each. Um, yes, and uh, some of them, probably 20 of them are from English. They just want to see what kind of English you have or what kind of grammatical skills do you possess. Okay, Alas, we have which university is good in Hungary for masters in construction management? 
if I shake, I'm very sorry, I don't know which university is very good because um, I don't deal with all of the subjects and I don't know the particular ranking, but um, you can Google it, you can look at the reviews and you can check on the QR ranking chart according to the subjects as well. So it will definitely help you make an opinion. From Sakula, we, we have, could you tell about MPhil in English? How can we get admission there? Uh, as a self-paying candidate or as a scholarship candidate, Safala. Kalbe uh, Heather, we have how is the student living in Hungary with the Pesh, what's the cost? Um, okay, so student living in Hungary generally is not very expensive. It's okay. You can um, uh, manage in a very low cost as well, especially if you're on a scholarship, your, your uh, teaching fee, accommodation, your one-time traveling and coming back, and your... Um, Accommodation fee is covered, so you don't really have to do a lot of things. And they give you around 40,000 forints every month, which is about 120 euros. And um, you, in Budapest, the good thing is you can work as well, because in cities like Page, we don't have a lot of jobs, so we cannot work. But in Budapest, you can, so you can easily manage a life. It's not a problem. Sanjay Kumar Tamlani, I apply for Hungary, Corvinus University, Budapest, Corvinus Business School required IELTS or TOEFL. I think, yes, Corvinus University does require IELTS or TOEFL for you to apply. Um, please reply me. I just did, Sanjay. Uh, is there an electrical program in your uni? Um, in my uni. Um, we do, I will check and I will let you know. Okay. Um, Zatula Premier, I want to apply for Masters of Civil Engineering. Could you tell the procedure? How can I get acceptance letter from university? Zatula Premier, the thing is, if you want to apply through the scholarship program, it's not very hard. You just have to go on both the e-portal and the TPF, choose civil engineering and apply for it. You have to just follow the, all the instru instructions that are already provided by the website. And um, as soon as you apply and you clear your um, test by the ATC, they will nominate you and you will get an acceptance letter from the university. It's not a problem. And then with the acceptance letter from the university, you can apply for the visa by the end of July or the starting of August. Okay. Hello, ma'am. I hope you will be fine, shine and good. Thank you. I am good. My question is, I did MBA in finance. Now I, wanna, I, I want to continue my study as an investment portfolio management. So please kindly tell me about that. I just need to know or not. Um, okay, you've done MBA in finance and you want to continue as an investment portfolio management, okay. Uh, Mia Fazilhak, it depends again on the university you chose. So every university has particular requirements for their courses. So um, please um, go on, on, the, on the university and find your course coordinator and email her and ask if their uh, IELTS is required or not. Otherwise, you can just attach an English proficiency certificate and that will also be okay. Fahad uh, Akbar, what are the total expenses for a paying student? Hmm. Fahad, it depends on what course you have. For example, I will uh, do a comparison for you. If you are a medicine student, you have to pay, if you are a fee paying candidate as a medicine student, you have to pay um, $17,000 a year as the fee. Then every month you have to pay for yourself, for your uh, daily expenses, then for your accommodation, for the bus passes and for a lot of things. Um, and for in case you're studying psychology, um, that's my course, so I, um, I'll just compare MBBS with it. So if you are studying psychology as a fee-paying candidate, it's about 8,000 euros a year. And again, you need money for daily expenses, your accommodation and everything. So scholarship is a very good um, opportunity, so I recommend you apply for it. Kalbi Heather, we have, isn't IELTS exempted for the one having C or higher grade than O levels? Um, yes, if you've done O levels, I don't think so that you need uh, an IELTS. It's okay because I also did uh, O levels and I, I had an IELTS, but it was expired by the time I applied. So it's not a problem. You can apply if you have O levels. Wahidullah, he's saying, do they have PhD in environmental science scholarships? I was uh, logging in for application, but I did not find this program. They have only BSCTC. Wahidullah, I'm sorry if you were not able to find a program there, then it must not be available. Uh, Saifullah scholar, Scholarship, okay, I forgot your question. Please write the entire question again. Um, Zishan Ahmed, what is your field? My field is Bachelor's in Psychology. 
Uh, Mohammed Amir, hello, madam. Can you please let me know? Is there any scholarship for agriculture field PhD scholarship, please? Mohammed Amir, I recommend that you go on the university um, the TPF and the ACC website, or if you have a particular university in mind, then go on their website and check if it's provided by all of these portals. Then you can apply. Aroma, we have. Do we have business courses? I mean, MBA, HR. What about IELTS? Do we have? Uh, Again, please go on the website, on the portals and check, but I think um, Masters in Business Administration is there. And I also depends on the, on the university that you choose, to be honest, Aroma. Uh, sometimes they're, they need it, sometimes they let it go because of your previous records or the English proficiency certificate that you attach. Father, we're not actually, I'm trying to ask for the optional paying student in the scholarship program. Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you just said. Mamada Amir, let me know agriculture scholarship for PhD. Please go on the portals and check if it's available. Um, Bob's uh, beautiful. You're doing a marvelous job. This is a good way to help people. Thank you very much, Mohammed Adil. Acceptance letter is necessary for MSIT program. Uh, for MSIT program, please tell how to get acceptance letter for MS. Mm. Okay, so do you mean like acceptance letter from the university that you you want to apply in? Um, I don't understand your question. I'm sorry. Uh, again, acceptance letter is necessary for MSIT program. Please tell how to get acceptance letter for MS. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't know about this. But if you're talking about acceptance letter from the university. Um, you have to go through the entire procedures, you have to apply, get selected, get nominated, and then the university will send you the acceptance letter themselves. Um, Madame, I want to apply for PhD in agriculture, is there any? I've already answered this. Please go on the link and check. Um, should we pay for test and application? For the scholarship, you don't have to pay for anything. Uh, you just have to, when you're applying, you just have to pay 300 rupees on the um, in, in the bank number that's provided by the HEC, then you have to attach that chalan given to you by the bank with the, um, uh, with the application. And then you just have to, uh, when you deliver the hard copies to the HEC office, then you have to attach this chalan with it. That's only 300 rupees. That's for the scholarship. But if you're applying as a fee-paying candidate, as Atula Premier, then you, yes, you have to pay for the application. I think it's 80 euros for one course that you want to apply. It also depends from university to university and course to course because they take money so they can evaluate your application and they can tell you your potential. Okay. Um, acceptance is required from the professors for master's program. Zishan, I think, uh, um, yes, it is as far as I read, but I'm not very sure about master's program. So I recommend that you put this question in the Stipendium Hungaricum group and they will answer you. Okay, because there are lots of seniors who are currently doing their masters, so they will help you. What is the criteria for scholarship? Kalbi Heather, I have mentioned it to you before as well. And um, summarizing it again, just have a good score in your previous education, do a good HEC test, have a good motivation letter, be focused, be motivated, have good verbal English skills as well. Uh, Tanzil Rabani, uh, what is the criteria for scholarship? I just mentioned it. Uh, Fahad Akbar, thanks for the help. You're welcome. Kobe Heather is saying, can students fulfill their expenses in tuition in Budapest? Um, to be honest, it's very debatable because the, um, the, the, the kind of education we have in Hungary, it's not, it's not uh, a joke. It's not very easy. You need to be very focused and you need to keep this as your priority as well. So if you're spending a lot of time trying to work and earn money for your tuition and expensive, it's very hard for you to study. And probably you will not be able to clear your um, semester credits and it's not a good idea because the tuition fee is like probably um, 8,000 to 10,000 and more euros and expenses for every month uh, and for accommodation and everything. I don't think so you can just work and fulfill all of this money. That's my personal opinion. Okay, uh, tell me name which is not required, IELTS or TOEFL. Uh, Sanjay Kumar, um, I'm, I don't know about all the universities, but for example, in the University of Page, you can, um, you can have a uh, English proficiency certificate from your previous institute, and then you can apply, okay? Uh, Fahad Akbar, is HEC form the SS to tell them? 
uh, whether to consider us for a paying student or no. Okay, Fahad, I'll tell you something. Uh, when you apply for uh, through ATC and you fill the TPF um, portal, the thing is, even if you do not get selected as a scholarship candidate by the ATC, but Hungary considers you a good candidate for the course, they will select you as a fee-paying student, okay? So there's an option on the TPF uh, form. They, they ask you, okay, do you want to be considered as a fee-paying candidate? You just have to take it, okay? So in case you don't make it for scholarship and you can pay the money, uh, you have the money you can pay, then you, they will choose you as a, as a fee-paying candidate if you are good enough. So you can be on the safe side like this. I need your email ID. I mentioned it before. I am saying it again. Fatima, F-A-T-I-M-A dot M-A-J-I-D at the rate of P-T-E dot H-U. Okay, it's my official email. Um, and he asked, hi, hi, and B, good luck, my dear. Thank you very much. Uh, Fahad, ATC asked us to tell them whether to consider us for paying students or not. What is the fee structure for nursing? I'm sorry, I don't know the fee structure for every field. You have to go on TPF, port TPF portal and see the fee structure. Uh, but I mean, you're talking about scholarship. Yes, I am. Zishan Ahmed, all the degrees transcripts must be tested by IBCC and ATC at this stage. Uh, Zishan Ahmed, as far as I know, yes, your degrees need to be tested by both um, because it's, it's a requirement. Uh, because when you are applying internationally, um, they need to see that your degrees are tested by a higher organization, not just your university. But I mean, I'm interested. Okay, I mean, I have said a lot of things before because you just joined. When the webinar ends, you can see it from the start, and I hope it helps you because it addresses a lot of questions. Uh, what are you saying? Um, I'm talking about scholarship. Uh, Sanjay Kumar, University of Page, Faculty of Business and Economics required IELTS or TOEFL. Okay, did you email the focal person? Did you tell them that you can provide your um, English proficiency certificate from the previous institution and they can take your um, oral interview as well? So they can and um, it will probably be okay. But I recommend you send me an email so I will ask my international coordinator as well for you, okay? Should we apply for university and scholarship separately? Uh, no, 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 no. If you're applying for scholarship, you just apply for scholarship, okay? If they deny you the scholarship and you're a good con candidate anyways, the, the Hungarian universities will consider you as a normal candidate, as a fee-paying candidate anyway, so it's not a problem. Just apply through the scholarship. But I mean, I'm interested, I want to do PhD, I have done MS Computer Sciences, okay? Then please go on the relevant, um, um, links and uh, you have to apply um, on ATC ePortal and TPF and then follow the instructions. Uh, Osama bin Zia, I submitted my form successfully. Wish me luck. Osama, best of luck. I hope you make it. Uh, Sandy Kumar, I have BS degree in commerce. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Best of luck. Kelvi Hadarbati, can you name any reliable student accommodation website? I couldn't find any good site for it. Um, Kelvi Heather, for which city in Hungary do you want a reliable website for the accommodation? Bachtamin, you sent me your email. I don't need your email. You have to email me if you have any questions. So, Hilratur, ask your questions there. Okay, from where are you? I'm from Pakistan. Um, I am in 10th, how I will get scholarship. Niaskan, you're in 10th, you have to do 11th and 12th in your high school and then you can apply for scholarship, okay? But I mean, for which country scholarship is available? It's for Hungary, Hungary is in Europe and I'm talking about Stipendium Hungaricum, it's provided by Higher Education Commission and the Hungarian government in collaboration. So um, I mentioned a lot of things about it, okay. So I see we have addressed a lot of questions already and um, okay. So I, th yeah, so there's one more thing that I would like to mention. Um, there, a lot of people, they have many missing documents as well, like something that you don't have right now, for example, um, okay, for example, you, you don't have uh, your test reports for the medical test, okay, and you need to upload your health certificate, okay. So what you need to do is that um, you went to the hospital and you they, they will give you a slip, okay? Uh, so you can upload the slip 
and you can mention uh, in, in, in the portal that you will upload the, the test results after you have them. So you can upload the test results by the 15th of January on TPF or in August on the TPF portal as missing documents. Because um, the Hungarian government, they give you this chance that if, if anything is missing and you don't have it with you because some documents, they take a lot of time, then you can uh, upload them by, um, uh, you know, in the first week of August on the portal. Kalbi Heather Budapest, what Budapest? Mia Fazalhek, will you provide me your email, please? Yes, uh, fatma.majid at the rate of pte.hu. Asad Khan, hi, ma'am, hello. I have text my email, please email me all the procedure. Um, I've already mentioned the procedure several times in the webinar. Please go through the webinar and then you will know. Khush Ahmedin, any scholarship without IELTS? Uh, yes, uh, many universities in Hungary, they accept uh, you without IELTS as well. Uh, and how is IBS reputation in Hungary? Um, I have heard about it so much. It's very good university. It's, it's, it's worth it, to be honest. Um, this is Fatma's email, people, Fatma.majid. Yes, thank you so much, Vaisden. Um, as a Zarar, any last tips? Any last tips? Any last tips are that um, you can do it. You will do it. Just work hard, keep yourself focused, study, have good English skills. If you don't speak very well, then you just have to read a lot of novels, see movies with English subtitles, and um, you can do this strategy. It's, it's, it works every time. You can learn 15 new words every day. So it will increase your vocabulary. You'll be able to speak well and try to have people around you with good uh, verbal English skills. So when you have an interview, it will help you. Okay? And good luck. Uh, Asad Khan, I'm graduate in computer science, now want to do MS computer science, which country is offering scholarship? Asad Khan, uh, I don't, uh, I'm only addressing Hungary right now, so um, you can go check on the website which city in Hungary is offering, which university in Hungary is offering your particular course. Um, I don't know about other countries, I'm sorry. Um, okay, student accommodation website in Budapest. Okay, um, uh, Kalbe Heather, can you please email me this question so I remember it and I will uh, email back to you um, the irrelevant reply because for now I don't know, but I know a lot of people in Budapest, so I will just ask them for you, okay? Uh, but there is a problem of network. Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Khush Ahmedin, where do you find information? You can find information on um, TPF, Tempest, Tempest Public Foundation, and HEC website. And you will read a lot of things there. And when you have to apply, then you have to go on HEC e-portal. Okay? So these are the two websites that you need to consult and read thoroughly. And when you go on the websites, everything is mentioned step by step. So it won't be a big problem for you. Uh, but in case if you have any problem, you can write to me an email and I will get back to you, okay? Do we have to upload both sides of mark sheets on HEC and TPF? Yes, please, Fahad, we do, because that's what I did. At least I, nah, I scanned the front and the back of my transcripts and my degrees. Uh, Zad, I'm graduated in botany, how to get um, Azerbaijanian scholarship as don't know which one is offering masters of botany from attached fields of uh, universities. Um, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm not dealing with Azerbaijanian scholarships, I'm only dealing with uh, Stipendium Hungaricum right now, that's a scholarship provided by the Hungarian government. Madam, you can speak Urdu if provide all the information in Urdu, it will be suitable. But I mean, yes, at the end of the webinar, I will say everything in Urdu once for you as well. So um, you, if, if you could understand anything, then you will. Engineer Dilpana Fatma Malik. Yes, that's my name. Asafan, any specific criteria for Hungary for scholarships? It's not, there is no specific criteria, I said. You just have to have a good um, academic background, a good HEC score, good English skills, and um, a good motivation letter, and you should be focused on what you want and what you're doing and why you're doing, and be confident, okay? And you will do it, don't worry about it. Documents are not uploading onto TPF now. Okay, Salim, it happens sometimes when it's, um, when it's overloaded, so you can um, you can 
wait for some time or reload the page or close the portal and um, you know open it again it might work for you but I mean I will say everything at the end in Urdu you won't miss anything don't worry um, I have to I have today applied with all done for a stipend in Garakum scholarship for masters I'm sorry uh, Dilip I don't understand your question and they ask a nice English great sister thank you very much uh, Zishan Ahmed, degree transcript attested by IBCC and ATC at this stage. Um, Zishan, I think it's okay if they're not attested, even though in the requirements it's clearly mentioned that they need to be attested by IBCC and ATC. But you can call ATC and you can ask them because attestation takes very long and you just have five days left to apply. So you can maybe upload them now and you can, uh, when they ask for, for the hard copy of the entire um, um, of the entire form, then you can send them the attested copies. But please go and apply for attestation right now. Just go tomorrow and apply for it because it's a very long procedure and your degree should be attested. Uh, I want to know about master's test. Dilip, um, it's generally the last time it was about general knowledge, IQ test, your um, abilities to solve complex information and everything. It's like that. Mm, okay. Uh, Arbab Tahir Khan went to do PhD in health economics. Want to, sorry. Uh, is any university in Hungary which offering PhD in health economics? If so, then please email me details. I'm sorry, Arbab, I cannot email every individual person. So if you have a question, you can email me on my email and I will get the information for you and reply you. And um, if you want to do PhD in health economics, I recommend you go on the portals and you check on TPF if the relevant course is provided by the Hungarian uh, universities and by ATC as well. Salim Jam uh, Jamali, ma'am, can you give us email for guidance? Yes, fatima.majid at rate of pte.hu. My friend just replied to you down below with the email. It's written. So f-a-t-i-m-a dot m-a-j-i-d at the rate of pte.hu. Okay, Asil Khan, SSC 65, ATSC 55, BCSC 70, is it enough? Um, since your BSC is 70%, I think it's okay because your uh, your high school score is uh, low. Um, but try to score very good in your ATC test, please, because you will have a tough competition. Have the server children, can we apply on HOPE certificate? I'm sorry, I don't know what's a HOPE certificate actually. Um, Fatima, I have done today online application form with all done with all my documents. Okay, Dilip, that's very good. Good luck. I hope you make it. Uh, good luck with your test. Um, Bilal, ma'am, attestation is not required now. It will be required after initial nomination by ATC. Oh, thank you, Bilal Jeffrey, for the information. So as Bilal said, um, the attestation is not required now, but it will be um, required after the initial nomination by ATC. But since mine were already tested, so I just put in my tested ones on the first phase as well. So, but please give your documents for attestation in the meanwhile, because they take some time. Uh, can a Bachelor of Technology Civil apply? Uh, anyone can apply, that's not a problem, unless you are uh, below 18 or um, you don't know English or um, there are a few other criteria. If, if, you already, uh, if you already received an ATC scholarship before or you don't have your degree, other than that, you can apply. Delete, but I am confusing for master test for preparation with subject for like test core. Yes, Delip, I understand this problem, uh, but I recommend that you contact ATC because what happens sometimes, ATC, they, they change your test pattern, okay? So I don't want to guide you in a certain way, which will be wrong. And um, so please contact them and, and ask them. They will tell you, they will tell you a book. Like for example, for bachelors, we had the HAT book and for masters, there's a GAT book, I think. So you can go through it. We have a question from Shahzeb Jadoon. What is the criteria for MS in computer science? I did BS honors IT. Uh, Shahzeb, please go on the website and check the requirements for MS computer sciences. They have put in all the requirements, what subjects you need, what grades they want from you, if you need IELTS or not. So please go on the TPF website and check. Above that, okay, thanks, dear. But, uh, please email me all the information and procedure. 
Is ATC conducting any test for scholarship? Yes, Shahar, they are conducting a test for scholarship, of course. Um, it's usually conducted in April, but this time I've heard they're conducting it before April. So most probably in, in by the end of March or something. And it will be for bachelors, it will be regarding your previous FSC course for, for, for masters. It's mostly more general and for PhD, um, I think they look at your research or your acceptance letter from the university or the professors. It's uh, like that. Okay. Fadek Bar, sorry, uh, my internet was disconnected. Please tell me again, do we have to upload both sides of mark sheets on ATC and TPF? Yes, for her, you have to upload both sides of mark sheets on TPF. Uh, Dili, please guide me about MS test about subjects. Uh, Dili, please contact ATC and ask them about what kind of tests they are planning to take this time. Okay, how they take tests and where? Asad Khan, they, um, okay, so it depends. They will give you centers. Uh, there will be different centers allocated. For example, some in Lahore, some in Karachi, some in Islamabad, and the students will be divided into different groups, and then you will go in your particular centers and give the test. And um, how they take tests, they, it's like um, a hundred score multiple choice question test. You have to be in the classroom with invigilators, just like a high school test, and you have to perform and score very good, so then you can be nominated. From where we can prepare for ATC test, Fahad, please contact ATC because last time they, for me, they recommended me my high school books because I was applying for a bachelor's program, but I don't know this time what kind of tests are they planning to take, so please call them and confirm and they will guide you what you should study and from where you should study. Okay. Uh, Khalika Rahman, I have attested my bachelor's degrees, but metric and intermediate degrees, not, uh, should I apply now? Yes, Khalik, you can apply because a um, person just mentioned that uh, you can um, upload the attested ones after the initial nomination. So if, even if they're not attested, you can apply. And um, I don't think so it will be a problem. Um, is Hungary need DB account of more than 1 million? Um, sorry, what's a DB account? Uh, Khalik Rahman, I have Pakistan Engineering Council, PEC number. I am registered engineer, PEC. It will help me or not? Um, I don't think so in scholarship this thing counts, to be honest. Um, but it counts if you're applying as a fee-paying candidate because for a scholarship they will see your, your test that you have in um, your HCC test. So please try to concentrate and score the maximum you can in the test. Engineer Karam Ilahi, please tell the website for information about the scholarship. Yes, Karam, I will after the webinar ends. I'll post everything down below. Don't worry about it. Um, or I will post as a separate post on, on the uh, scholarship corner page with all the websites and links, and you can go there and see it, okay? Uh, we, do I have to apply only at ATC portal at any other place as well? I already have my IELTS score. Is there any advantage of it initially? Um, you have to apply at TPF, Tempest Public Foundation, and HEC. Both portals are equally important. You have to apply in both. And yes, uh, IELTS is very good if you have it. It gives you an edge over people, over other applicants. So it's good if you have it. Um, for bachelor's degree, test will BS from high school. Um, for master's PhD get, I heard this from someone seniors. Yes, Bilal, that's exactly what I've heard and that's what I've been telling, but it's very good if you contact ACC and reconfirm once again. Uh, Fatima, please tell what is what is minimum score required for ATC and stipend in an Angarikum scholarship test. The leap, um, one thing that I recommend that try to score as much as you can. There's no minimum or maximum because the thing is there are thousands of applicants from around the country and uh, some of them have very excellent background academics and some of them they do not. So um, try your best to score the maximum you can to concentrate a lot on your your ATC test. It means a lot. It's, it's, the, it's the full most important thing that matters. So I recommend you score, you aim for 80 plus or something. It really matters. Uh, from Celine Jamali, I have mark sheets of seven terms. Eight term mark sheet will be given to me with pass certificate. I have 85.5% overall in BS computer science. Okay, Salim, uh, what's the question? Israel Khan Mohammed, hi ma'am. My percentage is in SSC 369, 75 in bachelor, 66 in master's 69. 
Okay, how can I apply for MS in Management Sciences or Finance? I think yes, Israel, you can apply. But I recommend you score very good in the ATC test that will be conducted because you will have a very uh, tough competition. Uh, Mia Fazil, thanks, ma'am, for giving us your precious time and share your valuable knowledge with us for further help. I will mail you, inshallah. Inshallah, Mia uh, Fazil, uh, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, I will be there to help you. Uh, Dilip Kumar, thank you so much, Fatma. You're welcome, Dilip. I hope it helped you and good luck with your test. I hope you make it. Mushtaq Mohammed, is it important to print application form after submitted application on TPF? You know, the thing is, it's um, you don't have to submit the hard copies right now. You will have to submit it after the initial nomination by ETC, so you don't have to worry about it. But it's just for your own good that you should have a printed copy with you in home. That's it. So if you download it and keep it in your laptop as a PDF, uh, it's also okay. You can just print it whenever ATC asks you. So it's not a problem. Uh, Shahar do I have to send any hard copy now? I don't know. I don't think so. You have to send any hard copy now. They will ask you for the hard copy and then you have to send it. Hafsa server, my degree will be completed in July 2019. I have transcripts of first four years. Can I still apply as some foreign universities hope certificate is enough? Okay, so they should buy a dean confirmed and student will complete his or degree in the mentioned period. Okay, Hafsa, your case is one of the few rare cases, uh, but for that you need direct correspondence with ATC because it depends on them whether they accept your hope certificate or they do not because clearly mentioned by ATC they um they do they wouldn't accept an applicant whose degree is still in the waiting or who's still studying so you have to be in direct correspondence with them uh to have the relevant answer i'm sorry um as suleiman khan thank you ma'am your video is so helpful or you're welcome i'm so happy that i helped you if you have more questions you can email me and then i will get back to you with a reply and I think for now we have covered almost all the topics that I wanted to mention and you guys came up with very uh, good um, self-explanatory questions and I answered most of them. But I'll just, okay, see if I have more questions and if not, then, okay. Uh, Fatima, if you don't mind, if I give you my application access, which is submitted today, can you check for performance of my application where is wrong? I can help um please if you have time um delete this is i think too personal but if the um if the application itself is not showing any errors then i'm sure there's no error so don't worry about it i am i hope you did everything correctly because the website the portal itself it guides you thoroughly as well so don't worry about it and the thing is if you're missing something or if there is a mistake HEC will contact you and so will the universities you apply to. So don't worry about it. They will always send you an email, okay? If there's something missing, they send you an email. Um, Madam, please draw your email once, okay? My email is Fatima, F-A-T-I-M-A dot M-A-J-I-D at the rate of P-T-E dot H-U. I will post it on the scholarships corner as a post, all the links and my email. So if you have any questions, you can email them to me. And um, that's it, okay. Sayed Ibadshah, please tell me whether I have to apply on ATC or Hungarian or both websites. Do you have to apply on TPF and ATC both? That's the basic requirement, apply on both portals. If you've been on the ATC website, they've mentioned it clearly in bold letters that you have to apply on both. Uh, Atik said, I could not get it, but uh, got CSC scholarship same year. So now I'm in Jilin University, China. Uh, okay, it's okay, Atik. I think uh, the university in China must be very good as well. And I hope your academic career goes very well as well. So good luck. Okay, uh, we have a question from Salim Jamali. Ma'am, my question is, I have seven times mark sheets. Okay, I read this question before as well because I don't have transcript, it will take one month. Okay, Salim, for, for this problem as well, because it's very specific and it's, um, I recommend that you contact ATC as well, because as the words you mentioned that you cannot apply if you don't have the entire transcript. So your one transcript is missing and you have seven out of eight and uh, you will have it in a month. Please contact them and ask them. If ATC permits you, I hope they do, then you can apply. It's not a problem. 
عطا رحمان میم موٹیویشن لیٹر کے بارے میں کچھ بتا دیں اوکے عطا رحمان فار موٹیویشن لیٹر یو ہیو ٹو بی ہاؤ ڈو آئی سی ویری الیبریٹ ویری ایکسپلسٹ ویری ریئل یور سیلف یو ہیو ٹو شو یور انر پیشن وٹ ڈرائیو یو وٹ یور موٹیویشن وائی ڈیڈ یو چوز دا پرٹیکولر کورس دیٹ یو چوزنگ وٹ پارٹس آف یور پرسنالٹی میکس یو اے بیٹر کینڈیڈیٹ فار دا کورس and how will you render your services um, for this course after you're done with it. And, it's, it's, and I recommend that you go on Google and you Google some samples for the motivation letter and you read them. And then you formulate one of your own and you should start doing it now because motivation letter takes a lot of time to write. Asad Khan, thanks Majam, you're welcome Asad. Uh, Mason Abbas is saying, can colleague from office can refer me for hungry application or university professors as referee is must i think for masters or i think phd but for both you need university professors as a referee as far as i know uh, firstly apply on atc or tpf doesn't matter you have to apply on both zishan but because atc has the last date on 31st of december So I recommend that you apply on HEC first and then you apply on the TPF because the last date for TPF is um, 15th of January and the last date for HEC is 31st of December. Zubair Ahmed, any scholarship without IELTS? Uh, yes, some universities in Hungary accept you without IELTS as well. Uh, best university for BSIR, Imran Kakar. Um, all the universities are very good. Um, Imran, but it depends on which city you want to live, what are your preferences. So I recommend that you go and you read about every individual university, their particulars, and um, and see your personal preference. Because University of Page also has IR, International Relations, and BS, and it's very good. It's internationally known. You have an EA degree, and the professors are very, very um, well-spoken, well-interactive. It's, it's very good. So it just depends on your personal choice. Atta Rahman, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, Atta. Uh, Shabana Chaudhry, hello. Ali Noman, uh, ma'am, in Hungary, BS Biochem, Bio, Medical Engineering are offering or not. Ali Noman, I would like you to go on the website and check um, for what courses are provided by individual universities and the HEC. Okay, so I will mention it once again. If a certain course is provided by Uh, a university but it's not mentioned by HEC then you cannot apply for it as a scholarship because the subjects must be mentioned by both HEC and uh, TPF so because the sending partner for us is HEC higher education commission so the subject must be provided by HEC for you to apply and have scholarship in it okay Can you please tell me those these universities? Um, Zubair Ahmed, for one, I'm sure, University of Page, it accepts your uh, English proficiency certificate and it also, um, um, yes, it, it also takes interviews uh, from Skype to see your verbal skills, but I'm not sure about any of the university, to be honest. Um, you can check, you can contact them. Sharia, can you please provide a CPF link? Yes. Uh, her. I will post TPF link, ATC link, and my email link, both of them, as soon as the webinar ends, okay? Uh, Sayed Ibadja, thanks ma'am, you're welcome. Sayed Musa, BC, um, Bachelor's in Computer Science program is there. Please tell me about the scholarship. Yes, Mohammed Musa, I think Bachelor's in Computer Science is there. I think it's also provided by University of Page as well, and I think Debrecen, and some universities in Budapest, and it's also there on uh, HTC website, so you can apply on the CPF portal and ATC portal and follow the instructions. Nikash, alayhi assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam. Okay, I don't understand your name, but I'll just read your question. What's about who are already in Hungary on self? Okay, so yes, this is something I asked my international coordinator as well. The thing is that you have to go to the Stipendium Hungaricum International Office in your, uh, in your city. They will give you a letter Then you can go back to your own country and you can apply. But the thing is, the merits will be relatively higher for you as compared to those who are applying normally because you're already selected as a self-paying candidate. Okay. Um, Zubair Ahmed Shahzad, I have done this. Uh, okay, okay, Zubair, what's the question? Ali Noman, which university offer without IELTS kindly repeat? Ali Noman, I don't know about many universities, but University of Page, PECS. page 
um, it can accept you without um, IELTS in some programs because they will take um, interviews, Skype interviews from you and they can see your English skills that way. Ibrar Hussain, IELTS is necessary for MS Electrical or Certificate of English from Uniwork. Ibrar Hussain, it depends on what university are you choosing. So please, if um, I don't know, you have to mention university, then you can contact the uh, course coordinator for MS Electrical and you can email her or him and ask them that um, will the English proficiency certificate will be okay or not. Because I cannot guide you about every university and their particular requirements. Yeah, Shabana, it will be a comprehensive program, Fatma. Thank you very much. Um, okay, I am in Hungary on self finance. Can I apply for a scholarship? I already answered your question. Azisha and Ahmed, worrying about acceptance letter from professors of Hungary unis if it is must for master's program as the deadline is near. Yes, Zisha, the problem is that uh, it's Christmas as well, so I'm not sure if your professors will reply you. Um, you should have applied before because this scholarship is here since like three months, but I would still recommend that you email them. Maybe they can help you or you can contact ATC and ask them that you will upload um, your um, acceptance letter on the TP of portal and not an ATC portal. So when the university opens by 2nd and 3rd of January, you can ask for the acceptance letter from one of the professors and you can upload it at least on the TP of portal, if not an ATC. Zubair Ahmed Shaza, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, Yar, thank you. God bless you. God bless you too. Sayyid Muhammad Musa, thanks. You're welcome. Imran Kakar Sagid, offer BS, IR or not? I'm not sure, Imran. You have to go on the second portal and check. Okay. Uh, Abdus Sarma Durani. Um, Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. Ma'am, I want to go to Hungary for my higher studies on scholarship. So how is it possible? Abdus Samad, I have already explained everything in this webinar and I think you just joined. So as soon as the webinar ends, you can um, see the webinar and you can, uh, because I've answered a lot of questions just related to such questions. So um, you will find your answer in them as well. Okay. How is BSc Physiotherapy in University of Derbyson and its scope? Um, I think all the courses provided in University of Debrecen are very good. They're very tough, they're very competitive, so you need to be studying a lot. And its scope, um, what do you mean? Like its scope back in our country or how, what are the, um, what is your scope of getting into the course? Alina Man, thank you ma'am, you're welcome. Sayed Marfat Shah Kamran about MS in chemistry. I'm sorry, what is the question about in this about MS in chemistry? Please write uh, elaborate questions so I can understand what basically are you asking uh, so I can address it accordingly. Okay, so also another thing, um, you don't have to worry about your visa as well because if you're nominated and selected by the HEC, the second procedure that comes in is um, you will have a um, acceptance letter from the university, okay? So as soon as you have the acceptance letter, you get a print of it, then you go um, to the embassy. Okay, for example, the Hungarian embassy in Islamabad, you go there and then you apply and it's, they will probably take uh, 20 days, 21 days, it depends, and they will give you the visa by the end of August or the, and sometimes it happens that there's a delay, they give you your visa in the first week of uh, September or something, so um, don't worry about it. And the thing is, visa is guaranteed, it's not a problem, especially when you're applying through a scholarship program. Namachan, I did my bachelor's degree in electronics. Now I want to do my master's degree from Hungary under Stipend of Hungarian Scholarship 2019, but I want to know which university is offering electronics or electrical related MS program under Hungarian Scholarship. Namachan, as soon as the webinar ends, I will post some links um, on the scholarship corner page. And you can go there and check on the ATC ePortal and TPF website as well if, you're, uh, if the course that you're interested in is available or not. And um, then you can see if it's available, you can apply. Mohammed Ibrahim, IELTS is mandatory or not? Is there a program tourism or hospitality management? Mohammed Ibrahim, IELTS is uh, mostly compulsory in many of the universities, but some of the universities can also accept you based on your English proficiency certificate from your previous institute and also based on your motivation letter as well, or they will conduct Skype interviews with you. Is there a program, tourism or hospitality management? It depends, uh, Mohammed Ibrahim, you have to go on the website and check for yourself. 
Habib Khan, Salam ma'am, uh, I just want to know, is there any relevant program or course relevant to MS Petroleum and Gas Engineering? Uh, Habib, I would like you to go on the website as well, the TPF and ePortal, and check if the course is provided there, and they've mentioned all the requirements already, so you will know. Hamza, is there a pharmacy program in Hungary Scholarship? I'm not sure, I'm not sure, you have to go and check. Because previously I, I, I heard that it's available, but then a friend of mine, they told me that it's not available. So you can reconfirm. Any test material for masters? Okay, so there is a group, Stipendium Hungaricum, um, on Facebook with a lot of Pakistani students, like around 30,000 or something. And they have posted uh, like files, related files um, for tests. For example, if you're applying for a bachelor's or you're applying for a master's, they've put a lot of materials on the group. So you can um, join the group and you can also post so your seniors can help you with it, okay? Uh, okay, thanks. BSc physiotherapy scope in Hungary after completing BSc. Okay, physiotherapy is a very good scope in Europe. Uh, and uh, it's it's a very good course to take. A very good friend of mine is also studying physiotherapy in my university. And yes, it's it's very good. I would recommend you take it. Uh, Abdus Samad, can you uh, drop applying link here? Yes, I will. Abdus Samad, don't worry about it. Uh, Sayed Marfatcha, what's about scholarship for MS chemistry? Please go on the website and check how can you apply, what are the requirements and everything. Um, Abid Jamali, how to apply post-graduation in medical field. Mm, I don't think so that you can apply as a scholarship candidate um, as a post-graduation medical field because there is no scholarship in medical field. Mm, Kalika Rahman, is this necessary to upload acceptance letter? Another question, Man TPF will give us the acceptance letter. Mm, Halika Rahman, uh, as far as I know, yes, acceptance letter is compulsory, but if you're having problems with getting an acceptance letter from your professor or university, then kindly write to the ATC and ask them for more time so you can upload it later. Um, another question, ma'am, TPF will give us the acceptance letter. Uh, you mean the acceptance letter after you get nominated and selected by the university in your particular course? Yes, the TPF will send you the acceptance letter. They will email it to you and they will also send it on the TPF portal. You just have to take a printout and keep it to yourself. Uh, Shahid Alavi, hi, hello. Sakhava um, Hussain, test material for master program. Uh, it is a test material for masters. Thanks, please. I I answered you, Sakhavat. Go on the Stipend and Hungarian group on Facebook and check there, and you will find it. Okay. Uh, you will find any course material that you want there. Okay, so I think we had a very long and a good session, and I don't see any more questions coming as well. And in case if there are more questions left, you can email them to me on fatima.majid at the rate of pte.hu. And um, I will try to answer all your questions there as well, or you can drop them uh, on Facebook as well. But please try not to uh, inbox them to me because it's very hard for me to reply to each and every one, and it's my personal account. So my email is there and I'll always be available and I will get back to you with the appropriate replies. But please, just the email. Okay, we have a uh, few more questions and then, okay. Uh, this is mandatory for MS Computer Sciences. Mazar Ali, you have to go and check for individual requirements and the university you, you chose. Uh, please do post all the links related to the university. That would be really helpful. Yes, Zishan Ahmed, I will post all the useful links. Don't worry. Ahmad um, Azam, I have uploaded my educational documents, English proficiency, medical certificate, transcript and degree, but it shows error. Okay, Hamad, then there must be something that you're missing or there, or you're not selecting the correct option because when you upload, it says that you have uploaded the translated English copies. You have to select that option and then the error will go away. Khaliq Rahman, thanks so much for your time, ma'am. You're welcome, Khaliq. Hamza Jan, in HEC website, they mentioned pharmaceutical science for bachelors, but in Hungary website, there is no pharmaceutical science program for bachelors. Okay, that's a bit confusing. Um, I don't know, I, I recommend you write to ATC and ask this problem because this has never happened before. Adnan Ibrahim, hi, good morning. Can I get study visa with my family? Uh, no, Adnan, sorry. You can have individual visa as a student if you want to go to Hungary, not a family visa. 
Hasnan Morris, missing documents ka likhne ka kya procedure? I don't have FSC degree yet. Is med certificate and English proficiency necessary to upload an HEC? Yes, medical certificate is necessary and English proficiency is also because they need to know if you speak well or not. Um, missing documents, it's okay. So for example, if you're missing a certain document, what I did last time is I was missing uh, my domicile. So I took, um, I went and I applied for the domicile and I took the application paper that I will receive my domicile in a few days and I just uploaded that instead of the actual domicile because the actual domicile takes a few days. So um, when, uh, in, in the starting of August, I uploaded my actual domicile as soon as it came. Or you can take a piece of paper and you can write the entire situation on it and you can mention that it's, uh, for example, you have domicile missing, it will take a month for it to come, so you will upload it in, um, in, in August. And you can sign it and you can scan it and you can upload it. Mm, Abdul Wahab, MPhil, MS, Psychology. Please go on the website and check. Mm, any test material for Masters in Engineering? Masters in Engineering, uh, Karam Elahi, please uh, go on the Stipendium Hungarian group on Facebook and they have a lot of test materials posted there and a lot of people will help you. EEF score matter or not, Ursulan, I don't think so, it matters. What matters is your ATC test, your previous high school score and your motivation letter. Um, okay. I have uploaded it all from it, but still shows error. Hamad, I don't know because I, I, I cannot see your portal, so I don't know what, what the problem is. Sayyid Mohammed, Musa Tofel and I are necessary for this scholarship. Uh, yes, in some universities and no, in some universities you can be there without um, the IELTS as well. What about accommodation after getting a scholarship on bachelor's level? Um, accommodation, we, every university has many dorms. Like for example, in the University of Page in my city, in Hungary, we have like um, six dorms and um, uh, you can choose or they will uh, allot a dorm for you and you don't have to pay for it because it's covered by the scholarship. You, so you just basically have to go there and put drop your stuff and you have your room ready. Maskan, can I apply with my transcript and pass certificate because I did not get my degree still? Um, Maskan, um, I think so, it should be okay but um, I recommend you contact ATC and ask them once more, please. Adnan Ibrahim, thanks for answering another question. Which country provided visa with family? Adnan, I'm very sorry. I don't know anything about family visa because I'm only currently dealing with stipend and Hungarian scholarship. Uh, Khalika Rahman, ma'am, I have double checked the application procedure. There is no any requirement of acceptance letter. What do we have to do now, ma'am? Uh, colleague, if you double check the application procedure and there is no requirement for placement letter or acceptance letter, then just don't do it. Because as far as I know, they did ask for acceptance letter, but as soon as I check it, uh, or you can just send me an email and I will check and I will reply you, okay? I will just cross check and I will let you know. Rasalan Rasani, do you have any idea uh, Buddha Union Budapest is good or not? Um, actually, Ursulan, when I was applying, I also chose a Buddha University, um, but then later I dropped it because I changed my course. But as far as I know, as far as I searched, and as far as I've heard, it's a, it's a good university. Uh, so the thing is, all the universities in Hungary are very good, very interactive, and they teach you in a very good way. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, yes, a Buddha is also very good. Okay. Wow, we had a lot of questions, a lot of questions. I'm very happy that all of you are very, very enthusiastic in applying and availing this opportunity. And I would really, really love to welcome all of you in Page in my city because that's where I am currently studying. Um, because it's an honor when, um, you know, people from your country, they come and study on an international forum and they are uh, smart enough to compete uh, on a scholarship test, international level. It's very good. So I look forward to seeing you. And can someone apply for MBBS admission in Hungary scholarship? There's no scholarship or MBBS, Hamza. Uh, Maskan, I asked to ask for Master Sorry for a short question and also late, mm, let me know what type of test ATC conduct uh, as I am planning to apply for design and art related course. Hmm. Maskan, I think your test will be related to what you studied previously in your high school or your bachelor's. So if it's pre-medicine, then it will be biology, physics, chemistry. If it's pre-engineering, then it will be maths, physics, chemistry and English in both of them. And um, it's multiple choice question test. 
a smur ali can credit ours be transferred from any university in pakistan to hungarian universities a smur ali depends from every single university so at the university that you like in hungary you have to contact them individually your course coordinator and you have to ask her um what what course you're taking what credits you have which university you're currently studying in and then only she can help you with it under John, man, your email, my email is Fatima, F-A-T-I-M-A dot M-A-J-I-D at the rate of P-T-E dot H-U. I will post it at the end as well. I'm doing MPhil chemistry from P Lahore. Now it's third semester. Can I apply for PhD chemistry? Chemistry from P Lahore. I'm doing M, okay. Um, I don't know, Mohammed. Um, it's your third semester, so I don't know. MPhil should be, I think, four semesters. So your one semester is missing. So I don't think so that you can apply for a PhD because you need to have your complete degree and transcript before you apply for a scholarship. Okay. Um, Usman Qureshi, if already enrolled in MS project management first semester, can I apply for MS under this scholarship? Yes, of course you can, Usman. You can apply as a as a new regular candidate for MS. You can apply. Uh, what are the requirements for MBBS admission there? The requirements, um, okay, for example, in PAGE, you need to have a very, very good high school. Uh, you need to have very good admission tests. You need to have very good English skills. And I think that's it. Uh, Avaskan, I have an IELTS with overall six. Do I go with IELTS or English proficiency? Go with both. Avast, take English proficiency from your uh, previous college and of course, of course, uh, upload your IELTS as well. Bilal, how to pay, uh, how to pay CSC changing university application fee? I'm sorry, what's CSC changing application fee? Can you be more elaborate in your question? Our salon is asking, my AEF score is too low in ATC sites. Some of seniors says that matches a lot and you should change your major. Uh, our salon, I don't know. I don't believe in this, to be honest. Um, and you shouldn't just change your major based on what your AEF score is. All you should do is you should focus um, on the ATC test and you should score higher. And that's what matters, to be honest. Your AEF, AEF score wouldn't matter if you have a very good ATC score in the test. So don't worry about it. Um, in MSc in Hungary, is yeah, is MSc in Hungary equal to 18 years education? So Harrier, um, I will check and I will get back to you in the comments after I've checked because I'm not sure right now. Azanali, can you tell me about a university which gave me scholarship in BS Computer Sciences? Azan, please go on the website of HCE portal and TPF and see which universities are providing the scholarship. As far as I know, Debrecen University of Page also, Seged, they provide scholarship for computer sciences. Mohamed Shaith, okay, thank you, ma'am. You're doing a great job. Jazakallah, you're welcome. I'm happy that I helped. Azan Ali with Sat. Uh, what? Okay, Shahariyar CSC scholarship is Commonwealth scholarship. Okay, now the thing is, I forgot your question. Wakar Yunus, WhatsApp number send me. I'm sorry, Wakar, I don't share my WhatsApp. This is a professional forum. If you have questions, you can email me. Salman Zan Khan, I'm currently enrolled in the Bachelor of Software Engineering. It's my first time to apply for any kind of scholarship. Any compliments? Mm. I've already mentioned everything that you need to know for applying for the scholarship, Salman. And what are the good things that you can do to increase your chances to get a scholarship as well? So you can go through the entire webinar session and look at the points that help you. And because I've answered so many questions, they might also help you as well. And it's first time for a lot of students, even the last time when I applied for my scholarship, it was the first time that I was applying for a scholarship as well. But you just need to have faith in yourself. You need to work hard. You need to have good English skills. You need to be focused. And just try not to listen to a lot of people because sometimes it happens that you think that your AES score is low or your high school is not good enough or something like this. But the thing is, your a your ATC test goes so well that it surpasses everything that happened wrong with you before. So don't listen to anyone. Focus on the test and give your best, okay? University which give full scholarship for PhD in clinical psychology. Bushra, please go on the website and check. I'm not sure. Lassie McBurr, can we apply on provisional certificate? 
Uh, Wasim, I recommend you contact HUC and reconfirm if you can apply with a provisional certificate because I'm not sure. Um, how to get fully funded scholarship in any university, Maniba? That's what I've been talking about since one hour 42 minutes on this webinar. Please go to the webinar once and you will understand how to apply for the scholarship because it's 100% funded. Um, hi, any kind of scholarships for undergraduate after HSC? Shamshir mm, Nakwe, wow. This is what I've been telling you since a long time. Please go to the webinar once again. Okay, uh, I want to pursue my master's in machine designing, but I can't for a suitable university supervisor, although it falls under power engineering, but faculty isn't available. University is in Budapest University. Okay, university supervisor, although it falls under power. Okay. Um, Alex, I don't know. What you can do is you can email the international office of the particular university and they can refer to you, uh, the focal person for the course that you're interested in, and maybe they will help you answer your question. Um, okay, be a student. Uh, I just see a question. MS Mechanical Scholarship. Go check on the website, please. Uh, Ma'am, on what basis TPF selects you as a candidate for the scholarship? Like there will be any tests or just Skype interview? Oh my God, this is something I mentioned as well. Uh, TPF, it selects you on the basis of your motivation letter, your results from HEC, and, um, and, and what else? Mm, yes, and they too take a Skype interview as well. Um, Haji Isadali Khan, IL7 bands graduate in BSG of physics. Is there any sort of way that I can apply for scholarships in Hungary without HEC collaboration? No, unfortunately, you cannot apply without HEC collaboration. Uh, any scholarship for agriculture, people in horticulture, please refer. Uh, I'm sorry, Hamid, you have to go on the website and you have to check um, for the um, for the course if it's provided or not. And then you can see if you have more questions, you can email them to me. Okay, so these are the last three questions that I will take and then I will end the session because it's been very long. And if you have more questions, you can email them to me on my email. So it's um, it's quota for all provinces in Pakistan or not. Yes, there's a quota system for selection or salon. Um, okay. How can we apply for scholarship, ma'am? Shafiq, please go through the webinar session. You will know how to apply. Uh, form for placement letter, Asa Rajput. I'm very sorry, I do not know the form for placement letter, but I recommend that you comment on the uh, Stipendium Hungarian group on Facebook, and then they will. there are a lot of seniors there. They will help you answer your question. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for being here, for your questions, and I'm sure I hope that I helped you with your problems. And I hope to see all of you in Hungary, happy and successful. And um, I would like to wish you again once a happy Christmas and an upcoming happy new year. And uh, specifically, if you have any questions about university or page, you can send them to me as well because I am a university international representative, a student ambassador in page as well. And um, one last time, I will mention my email, Fatima, F-A-T-I-M-A dot M-A-J-I-D at the rate of P-T-E dot H-U. So I will look forward to your questions and um, I wish you all a good day and a good night. Thank you very much and bye-bye.